Hey everybody, it's Raphael from XX Raphael Productions and I'm going to show you how to fade in and fade out audio using GarageBand. So, I made a video on this last year as a matter of fact, but since there's a new macOS version, there's also a new GarageBand version where the user interface is a bit different and some people in the comments have expressed that some of the options are not easily as visible or some are entirely different. So I'm going to go ahead and make this updated tutorial right now. So. To start off, I'm going to start with an empty project, alright? So obviously, if you have your own project, you can skip this step. But I'm going to go ahead and start with a blank slate, and just before we even mess with these files, I'm going to go ahead and disable my metronome and also my um, countdown. So now, let's go ahead and drag in my first example. So here, I'm going to use this royalty-free soundtrack and drag it right in. All right, so let's go ahead and play this example. Um, right there. So I'm sure you guys have heard this particular soundtrack in many other videos. It's quite a royalty. It's quite a popular royalty-free soundtrack. So I'm sure you have heard of it somewhere else. But yeah, let's go ahead and use this as an example. Now I will use this other um, MP3 file later in the video. So don't worry about this. For now, so let's go ahead and mess with this one first. So here, in the top bar, click on Mix and click Show Automation. And now, you'll notice that um, this is a bit faded and make sure that your, your um, drop-down box is set to Volume. So if your, make sure the tick is set to Volume. If it's set to any of these other options, make sure it's set to Volume first. And then, I'm going to go ahead and click, double-click on this, okay? And now you notice that a line will pop up. So depending on where you clicked, this um, white circle might appear at different areas. Let's go ahead and if you don't like where it's at, you can drag it around. So here is where we can control the volume, okay? So let's go ahead and do it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down about, let's see about here, should be good enough. And now if I click play, you can notice the sound um, going softer. Let me go ahead and drag it to the beginning and click play. Alright, so hopefully that is that was on a visible difference. Let's go ahead and demonstrate now when you're fading in. So the same logic should apply here. As you can see that if it's going down, the volume is going down. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my initial circle down as well to match this other line and I'm going to go ahead and drag my second circle to be up here and it should fade in rather than fade out so let's demonstrate right now I'm sorry I forgot to set this to beginning alright here we go and yeah so you can actually even do more than that so let me double click again so I'm gonna demonstrate right now I'm gonna double click right here and now I have another circle and I can make that fade out I can make it fade in again, maybe, let's see, about here. So I'll make it even louder than ever. So you'll notice that the volume is going up and down, all right? Go ahead and start from the beginning. It's getting louder, getting softer, then getting louder again. So get louder, softer, and louder. So now you can obviously see that it is, you can do, you can add as many circles as you want and make it softer and louder at your um, own personal preference. But now, like I said before, earlier, that I would show you my second um, MP3 file. So here I decided to show you that you can actually do this on both, like you can add it either underneath this audio file so it's overlapping or you can actually do it on the um, same area. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag in my second MP3 file right here. So this um, soundtrack, let me go ahead and Plate right now, so I'm gonna start from the soundtrack. But that is um, definitely different from my other one where it's sounding like. So here I'm gonna show you that you can actually manipulate the same thing even if you are using a different MP3, but you can do it, they're all on the same line right here. So let's go ahead and click maybe over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate with this. And then this, well, I'm going to go ahead and double click on here just so that it doesn't like change anything on this particular area. So here, if I go ahead and drag this down, 
it will get softer. So let me go ahead and let me drag this maybe over here as well. So I have a couple extra seconds for this to play. But let's start from the beginning. I want you to notice the difference. So yeah, obviously add as much as you wish, but that is how you do it in the 2021 GarageBand. So thank you very much for watching, and I hope this video helped you out. And also, like I said before, if you have any extra questions, like I said this in my other video as well, but I'll say it here. If you have any other questions, you can comment down below, and I'll be happy to answer them. But Raphael out, and I will see you soon.